No, I don't want to cut it. Please do not let me cut it. Please. Just please, please. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Muchacho, senor. How you doing, man? I am Arthur Morgan. <laughs> A president. As American, we need to be politely. Respect each other. I am the new sheriff in town. And I'm here to protect all of you. Previously on... Great Dead Redemption 2. And all I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find some. <sighs> <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. You don't know, but you can smell it, okay? Um, what I smell? Is that I haven't been showered for a long time. My eyes! My eyes! Woo! I'm stinky. How you doing, Abigail? Morning, Ted. You okay? I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm alright. Good for you. Fast spirit. Sure. You're such an interesting person to talk to, Abigail. Morning? Morning. How are you? Fine. What? That's why John hates you. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Can I ask you a favor if, if it's convenient, I mean? Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? I got a lot of herbs. Season? Which which herb do you want? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll see what I can do. I I got herbs. You want herbs? Sus Grip me scream, y'all. Here's those herbs you asked for. Ah, uh, excellent. Thank you. I'll slip these in Pearson's pot when he's not looking. Thank you. How you doing, Karen? Morning, Arthur. Morning to you. Everything okay? I guess. Bored. Well, we need to get you out on another job again soon. Okay then. See, I told you, like Tilly said, you, ha you have the most fun in this camp, okay? You want me to sing your song? But the old horse said, do not let you sing. Oh, the old horse don't know anything about my singing. You want me to sing a song for you? You're, you're a special one, so I'm going to sing you a song. Okay, go for it. It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Oh, my spot. Ride into the sand, the knees. I am a man. Oh, hold up. Somebody says, Come help. Hold up. I'm coming. Hey, you. What's wrong? What's wrong? Some fellas broke into our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. The sack down in the swamp by the water. You wanna come with me? Okay. Go on, see if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Uh, I go about finding more help. Uh. You go do that. Somebody trying to mess with a wife? Like that? Can't be. 
There we go. You're done. Oh, please, please, please untie me now. Just hold up. Just hold up. I'll be untie you. Just relax. Everything will be all right, ma'am. Everything will be all right. Would you please? Your husband please sent me. Please don't worry. Don't worry. I'm gonna catch you. Sorry, free. I weren't here sooner. Are you okay? Everything is gonna be all right. You saved my honor. Uh, yeah, save your honor. Uh, what a mess. Somebody's coming in. Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want to ride them doors. Okay, we'll do. Goodbye. <clears throat> Don't worry, ma'am. I'm here to clean out the mess at the same time. I don't have any words to connect with my dual sentences. It's okay. I understand. Sometimes your mind get blocked. Thank you for understanding, ma'am. There's some money I put away in the safe there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Are you sure you don't need the money? I got a lot of money. I got four four thousand. I did not know that. Uh, okay. Uh. Oh, that's that's a sack. Okay, hold up. Oh, thank you again. You my partner. Oh, thank you for calling me that. It's very nice people calling me Guardian Please, Angel. Good you. You luck to you. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horus found another guardian angel like you. <laughs> it's okay. You only need me. You don't need anyone else. What, what am I doing? Go. There we go. A nice thing to do in this town. I think I need to be alone now. Okay, you do that. Where's my horse? Spots! Where did you go, Spots? You want me to continue the song? Please don't. Oh, please. Let me sing one more song. Please. Yeah, I think somebody needs some help. Where? Where? Just look very closely. You might find one. Okay. Ah! Are you okay? Hey, I just landed inside the box. <laughs> Are you impressed with me? Watch the way you're going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, buddy? I didn't mean to. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How do you say sorry in French? Just hold up. Just hold up. Hey Siri. How do you say sorry in thanks? I mean, what? How do you say sorry in French? Désolé. Désolé. <laughs> I learned that. Hey. Désolé, madame. Désolé. Como talis, como talis, como talis. We're Americans. Como talis. <laughs> My man, my man, my man. Como Talis. Ah, there you are, dear boy. There yes, you dear are, man. back in your nature. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What do you mean? I look smart. Uh, well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still okay. doing that? Of course. I just hope we you got really good taste. So fine, no one will notice a thing. Okay, you're gonna pay, right? Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Okay, sir. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter jealousy. Oh, oh! You're gonna buy it for me? Where, where's the stick? I thought uh, it'd come with a stick. Bye. Since you will pay it, yeah, I'm gonna wear it. How about the high hat? Can I have the high hats, please? Sure. We go to the barber? No, I'm not cutting my beard off. I like my beard. Hex, no. the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action here is planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action. 
action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. This what do you mean by that? Killing me. Oh, don't be so Why cheap. this road look like a we spike? Know this is just the kind oh no, it's not a spike. Fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I really I hope, hope so. so. Come on. Please do not let me cut my beard. Please. I've been wearing... Let it grow for a long time. I don't want to cut it, please. I can't oh grow in real life. At least let me grow in the game. Not my dear hick friend here. No, I don't want to do that. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. No, I don't want to cut it. Please do not let me cut it. Please, just please, please. Oh, hello, <laughs> muchacho, senor. How you doing, man? I am Arthur Morgan, <laughs> a president. As American, we need to be politely respect each other. I am the new sheriff in town. I'm gonna choose this one. Can we move on? There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the rocks. You just let me cut my beard. For us. Oh, we we have a oh we have a person. Wow, this is my first time riding a coach, buddy. Thank you. George, to the ground. Grand Corrigan, sir. Yes, sir. Well, <laughs> this is look at you. From the Toad, the Prince. Yeah, Thank you very much. much ain't it? Coke, Why didn't you pay for the We can't Bobber. be up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's the mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors. Are we playing blackjack? If we're playing blackjack, I'm good at it. But if we are not playing blackjack, what nah. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Thank you for the chips. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. We'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. We're gonna take care of that, George. Now remember what I kinda I said. look good in this. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There oh God, are. if we're playing Thank poker, God. I'm not good with it. How 
wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Ah, the boys. Yeah, I remember these boys. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. You look nice, gentlemen. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Shall what? We? No. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I, I don't have any gun. Good time. The tables await. Well, I'll go find myself a change of clothes. <sighs> okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Playing poker. I'm not good with poker. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. <laughs> Desmond Ply. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Thank okay, you. gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at the this. Guys. Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, so, so apparently you play for two dollars. Some mm. better than others. If we all fared the same in life, now where would the fun be? Why? Oh, I see him. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, no, but she, yes, say no. you should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry boys, I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Okay, buddy. Everyone is doing that. I'm glad Strauss is helping me. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. Do you like so my masters, Mr. Blythe? What are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. <laughs> Ooh, Yo, I got two queen. I thought about getting into hosiery, but ah, <sighs> just ah. better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I I'll raise ten dollars. You sound just like my wife. Okay, I'm gonna raise it again. Oh. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Is that you over here? Okay, okay, it looks like I'm doing good. Call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. <laughs> Win! <laughs> Shit! Shit. <laughs> Guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Okay. There's no need to be angry. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real okay. fine. Okay. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Worth more than okay. me? Mm, I can't believe that. Now play. How much it worth? As you wish. 
I look very cute in this. <laughs> so you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Oh, I got Battle of Kings. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Okay, all in, well, my man. All in, my nothing man. Adventure, nothing gained. Well, I like this book again. This is my best time. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. <laughs> Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. I like this game. With an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why yeah, not? yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to Tell look me. this watch. Please, that watch that worth me. more I than myself. Week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come yes, with me, sir. We'll do. You're having quite the night. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so far. Because I got this new lucky and mustache and lucky goatee. A greaser, a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little law giver right here. Oh, you got your gun on your own, Very huh? good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it Why did you put so really high up? A handsome piece. I thought man, this guy wanted to kill me. You can't have everything. But I got Javier in me. Well, here we are. Oh, we're gonna rob them. Ah, oh, the sea. We'll do. Your time. Take your time, sir. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Give me that gun. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Is this a safe way to do it? Oh, he got another gun! Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, Good. we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which That's a good idea. Holy will. To the bar, senor. I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. I know, I know. Look, there's your friend. How you doing, sir? There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> okay. We gotta get out of here. Okay, this is messed up. Why does? Why every time we do a plan, they always end up me getting a bounty? 
every freaking time. I know, I know. Just relax, Trelawney. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on! Now they know our face! Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here.